Jewelry product photography doesn't have to be boring. I know a lot of brands go out there and get those, those pumped up models, you know, like they've been in the gym, just pumping for hours and hours. Does that kind of stuff really sell it to you? I mean, I don't look at that and think, you know what, I gotta buy that necklace. It just does not attract me. I mean, look at me. Does it look like I have a six pack? No. I've not had a six pack in 10 years. I'm a firm believer that every product should tell its own story. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a story around a product and give it some life. Let it live. We're gonna be turning this into this. Let's do this. What is going on? It's Anil. Now I recently got this as a Christmas gift. Now I never heard of this brand before, so you know I had to go and poke around the website a little bit, see what they're about. It was okay. It was your typical brand, stock footage, stock photos, your typical model look, tattoos. It wasn't for me. Although those photos probably attract a lot of young people to buy their gear. It just wasn't for me. I'd never picture myself wearing their jewelry based on what I was looking at on their website. And you know what, that's okay because I'm not the target market. I'm just too old. But what if I could be? Now I know a lot of you have been asking me to do a tutorial on how to shoot jewelry with your iPhone. So you know what? Today is the day, you lucky lot. We're basically gonna take this piece of jewelry and turn it into something that will make me instantly whip out my credit card and part ways with my hard earned cash. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a backstory. We need to give this piece of jewelry an identity. So looking at this chain, it's got a nice little compass design on here. I'm already thinking of a theme, explorer, danger, a bit of a risk taker, mystery. I'm thinking this could be a timeless piece. So a vintage theme could be awesome. See how things just pop into your head. They just flow. The only limitation here is you and your creativity. Just let your mind flow. Ideas will pop, trust me. So I think we nailed the theme. So we need to go shopping and get some props. But before we go, guys, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, you're really helping me out. Now, as I said, to really bring out this vision, we need to go and get some props. So I took a trip to my local antique shop. It's important that you take your time at this step. You don't wanna get the wrong props. You wanna make sure that the props that you get really motivate and really support the theme that you're going for. So I've gone with an Explorer theme, timeless design, vintage, I've got to make sure that the props complement it. Now in the antique shop, I picked up loads of really cool props like this compass. Also found some really cool binoculars and this old mechanical engineering book. I thought this is going to look awesome with some of the photo ideas that I've got. I picked up loads of stuff. I picked up this old camera. I picked up this like little jar, this blue black ink jar. I picked up loads of gear. I also found this little thing in the corner. Let me pick it up. Oh, it's like some kind of rusty gear. I don't know. It's heavy. Go into the antique shop. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Right, we got our props. We got our theme nailed. We need to start building this set. Now I'm gonna use a black background for this shoot. I have this big roll of photography black background paper. It's mainly used for portrait shots, but it's gonna be perfect for what I want to do here. Now you don't need to go to this expense. You can get anything, a black wall. You can just hang a sheet up if you want. I had this lying around, so it was just, it was just perfect for me right now. It just needs to be black. It just needs to be nothing. It's also important that you have some depth. You wanna keep that black background as far away from your subject as possible. The separation that I got is about a meter from my black background to where I've got my subject and my props. The bigger the distance, the better, because you wanna reduce the amount of reflections that you're getting on your background. Now it's time to organize your props. I used an old rustic table that I already had lying around from a previous photo shoot. Perfect for what I'm doing today. With that in place, it's time to just lay out your props. I'll be creative, move things around, try and find great little angles, little places to put things. Think about all the different types of shots you can make. I'm constantly moving things around, playing with my props. And don't worry about getting a perfect placement every time. You're at home, no one's bothering you. You can take some photos, move some props around, play with the light, take some more photos, 
take your time and don't worry about getting that placement right first time. So lighting, which is probably the most important part to any photo shoot. Now, if you know my channel, you watch my videos, you know I'm a massive fan of natural light. But today, I want a little bit more control. I'm gonna be using my trusty Godox SL60W for my main lighting source. I'm gonna have it at an angle because I wanna sweep that light across, create some interesting shadows. I don't want it to be flat and dull. I'm also gonna use a couple of pocket video lights. I wanna play around with some colors, some warm hues, move it around and see what kind of interesting shots I can get. I also picked up an old vintage lamp. I thought it'd be cool to have a little bit of a warm vintage glow over my scene. So I think we're ready to take some photos. So for the photo shoot today, I'm gonna to show you two different photo techniques, two different styles that you can execute easily with an iPhone. The first one is your flat lay shot. That's a lifestyle shot. Facing down, interesting props, showing the environment and highlighting the product. And the second shot is what I call a focus shot. And that's all about getting really close and showing a lot of detail. So for the flat lay shots, I want full manual control over my camera settings. I'm not gonna get that with a standard camera app. So the guys over Reflex have built an awesome, awesome pro camera app. And today I'm gonna to be using that to take the flat lay shots. To get that second type of shot I mentioned, that detail shot, I really wanna try and blow out some of the background and create some depth. And because I've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'm gonna switch over to the telephoto lens on the standard camera app get a really close blowing in shot, lots of detail and try and blow out that background. So for the flat lay shot, as I mentioned, get your props right, get the balance correct. Play with the light, make sure you're getting some good interesting shadows. Use some reflectors if possible, if you wanna bounce light around. And as I mentioned in loads of my videos, the secret ingredient, the secret texture that I always add is tea. And today I've got some jasmine pearls, bash them up and I'm gonna sprinkle them over my scene just to give it that extra. <sighs> when you're taking a photo, make sure you're really taking advantage of the manual control that you have. Now I'm not gonna go through all the details of all the manual controls. I've got a separate video coming up where I'm gonna take a look at the Reflex app in a lot more detail for you guys. Like I mentioned before, I've got some pocket lights, so I wanna play with the hues a little bit. Jewelry is also highly reflective, so actually playing and moving little lights around can really change the scene. Take a few photos, move the light, change the hue, different shadows, play with the light, move it around, take as many photos as you can. Right, for the focus shot, as I mentioned, I've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I'm gonna switch over to the standard camera. I'm gonna flip my phone around because I want the lens at the bottom so I can push in to the subject. So I'm gonna play around with the scene here. I'm gonna move the props around. I really want that necklace to dangle. I wanna punch in and get a really good detailed shot. Like I mentioned before, just play around, move things around, just play around with it. Once you're ready, load up the standard camera app, telephoto lens and just punch in slowly. As you punch in, it might switch over to macro mode. All you need to do is tap on that little macro button. You can turn that off and there you go. You can now blow out the background, get really close and snap a detailed shot. And like I said, don't just settle for the first shot. Play with the scene, move things around, take as many shots as possible. Also, change up the orientation, you know, landscape, portrait. You never know what kind of photos you're gonna need later. So just cover them all in the photo shoot. Right guys, I'm gonna take you through a very quick edit using Lightroom Mobile. So you can see here, we're gonna play around with some of the settings. I'm gonna to go to light. I'm gonna bring that exposure down a very, very little bit. But I'm gonna pump up that contrast all the way up to 43. 
I'm also going to drop those highlights down. 59 maybe, somewhere around there. Yeah, that looks good. Shadows, yeah, I'm going to drop those shadows down. Maybe to 33, 34. Yeah, that's looking good. And also reduce some of those blacks. Yeah, I really want to bring out that darkness in the back. Really make that back black. Make everything pop, extra contrast. Yeah, it's looking good. It is looking good so far. Right, let's go to the color tab. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the temperature of this picture. So I'm not gonna mess around too much with this tab. No, I'm good, I'm good with this one. We're gonna go to the effects tab and I'm gonna mess around here, guys. You know I always mess around here. I'm gonna pump up that texture, maybe 17. Add a bit more clarity. Again, I like things to pop. 25, that looks good. Let's add a bit of vignette. Let's drop that in here as well. Let's go up, let's be 46. It's a little bit aggressive, so let's change the midway point down to around yeah, 27. And then let's get that feather going. Just a little bit, yeah. Bring those highlights up a little bit. 29, that's looking good, that's looking good. Mm, grain, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, vintage, let's add a bit of grain to it, Mate, not too much, 13. Yeah, that's, that's looking good, that's looking good. Right, let's go to detail now. Do we wanna add anything? I'm just gonna maybe sharpen it slightly, just slightly, 58, that's looking good. I'm not gonna mess around with anything, maybe just add a little, a little bit of mask in there, there we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking really, really good. I'm gonna export that now to my camera roll. Once that's done, I'm gonna go over to PS Express. So once we're in PS Express, I can tap on overlays. I can scroll over to smoke and all of these different smoke effects I can add in. So I wanna find, try and find something not too distracting. Yeah, something like that. It's a little too harsh at the moment. So I'm gonna bring, bring down the effect a little bit more. Also, it's covering too much of the uh, chain. So I'm gonna actually just kind of move this around a little bit. Uh, actually, what I wanna do is rotate it can do that, that would be awesome. So, here we go, so I'm gonna rotate that effect a little bit, just gonna put it to the left. There we go, maybe zoom it, that's it. Maybe there, that is looking amazing. Just drop it out slightly, wanna make it look as natural as possible. Wow, now look at that guys. Simple little edits on the photo, nothing too complicated. Export that now, save it to my camera roll, and wow, that is looking pretty good. Well, there you have it, guys. I think we have successfully taken this chain and reinvented it, giving it an awesome story. We brought it to life. I can almost taste the sea. I can almost taste that explorer theme. <sighs> Guys, don't hold back. Let your creativity spill over, spill over and over. You can never have too much creativity in your veins. Don't ever settle for those catalog shots. They do nothing for nobody. So guys, thanks for watching. Check out these other videos and I'll see you in the next one. All right, Captain.